Hi, I'm LaShawn Jenkins with another institution. I coach and mentor notary signing agents on how they can have a successful notary signing agent business. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I provide tips on how you can become a successful and successful notary signing agent. So today's topic is going to be about what is notary lingo. Um, notary lingo is whenever you receive um, documents, um, especially like from snap docs or even emails, um, a lot of times they will abbreviate certain um, signings, certain words will be abbreviated within the notary community. And a lot of new notaries actually have a hard time understanding it, um, simply because of just um, things that have been made up over the time, you know, similar to like slang pretty much. But um, I wrote down a list of lingo that I normally see. Um, if there's anything that you actually see, um, you can put them down below in the comments for other notaries so that they can see um, the notary lingo of the words that people use. So the first one um, that's very common um, that you'll see being sent is called, you'll see loan mod. Um, that actually just stands for loan modification. It's a type of loan closing where basically the borrower um, is changing the terms of the loan. And you'll, when that sum is sent out, you'll often see it as loan mod, um, MOD. Um, the next one is refinance emailed. <clears throat> so that basically is saying that one, it's a refinance type of closing, and two, the documents are going to be emailed to you. Um, that's just one way of explaining how that assignment will work. Um, if you ever receive something like that. That's why um, normally also before they send out um, assignments, it's always good for you to ask questions um, because sometimes what well, may mean one thing to somebody else, it means something totally different. So with that being said, you have to always just clarify um, with the assignment company that sends the assignment. Um, the next thing is fastbacks. Um, fastbacks is... Depending on the lend depending on who gives you the assignment, um, if they provide you with a fax phone number, they want you to fi fax those documents back. But sometimes I've seen towards that they put fax backs, but really they want you to scan the documents into them. Um, normally they will provide you with some type of email or if it's a fax number and they want you to fax it, they will provide you with that fax number um, for sure. And normally some type of fax cover sheet, but they will provide the fax number if they want you to fax it. <clears throat> the, the next thing is GNW. GNW stands for General Notary Work. General Notary Work is typically work that's within um, your local community. Um, you really don't, probably not going to travel too far for General Notary Work, but that's anything but loan closings um, as far as GNW. Um, the next thing is overnight. So when you get a notification, um, rather snap docs or through your email, um, sometimes the signing companies will put email um, overnight. And when it says overnight, normally they, that typically means that they will overnight uh, some type of loan documents or whatever kind of documents it is to you, to your address, um, the address that you provide to them. Um, the next thing is HELOC. Um, that and so it's H E L O C, and that actually stands for a home equity line of credit. Um, it's also another type of loan closing um, that people t normally do. Um, the next thing on my item is scan backs, and scan backs is pretty much whenever you're finished a loan closing, um, you will scan the documents into uh, into the computer using a scanner, some type of scanning, all-in-one printer machine, or whatever you have, but that's you actually scanning the documents and you're gonna send them to an email that they provide to you. Similar to what I said about fax backs, but if it's fax backs, and if they provide you with the fax number, most likely they want you to fax it. Um, but normally, most companies now, they are taking scan backs, so it's very rare that you're gonna be faxing documents. Um, AIF, um, that stands for Attorney in Fact. Sometimes you'll see they'll push out assignment and they put AIF. Um, that just simply means Attorney in Fact. 
Um, and then last but not least, um, you also see NOTR. And that stands for notice to write to cancel, or you also will see it as notice to write um, notice to write the rescission. Basically, it gets the borrower three days to cancel the loan. Um, pretty much that what it is, just a type of a form within the loan's closing packet. So that's actually all the lingo that I have today. Um, like I said, if you know any more lingo, make sure you include it down in the comments so that other people can see and learn the lingo of the notary. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you join us every Tuesday and Thursday to watch our series on how to become a successful nursing center agent. Thank you and y'all have a great day.